Good afternoon. We are on Wednesday, the 3rd of August 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with the Holy Spirit. And I have other plans to do more other videos and catch up videos and maybe the Bible in one day. I haven't done for about a month now. I haven't had the time, but I must catch up. It was the, this is the Mass that took a lot of time in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen it's very hot today and you've got both windows open but it's roasting in here yet the sun isn't visible clouds blocking it but it's hot 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 prayer to my guardian angel O angel of God my guardian dear to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The prayer to Saint Michael for all of us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The prayers to the Holy Spirit, Veni Creator. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, come. From thy bright heavenly throne, come, take possession of our souls, and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. All glory to the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, great Paraclete, while endless ages run. Amen. Veni Sancti Spiritus. Come, O Creator Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Our senses kindle from above, and make our hearts overflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive far from us the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son who rose from death the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. Amen.
prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm looking at one of those tiny things that looks like a flying spider and they're so tiny and almost translucent and yet you think they're just a bit of fluff. My eyes are pretty bad but I can see it, it's, it's lowered itself so it's definitely, it's not a bit of fluff, it's like a tiny, tiny, tiny flying spider. It's actually making its way past my drink and spinning like a top. It's not often I notice things, but I, I was I was praying these prayers and I see and it, it, it's, it's hovering, it's moving. It really is a sort of spider flying thing and yet I'm normally scared a great big, but this isn't, this is, this is incredible. It's the colour of lemon and my drink has got lemon in it and it's hovering, it's hovering on the rosary beads now. But I hope it doesn't come on me because you'll hear me shriek. <laughs> I wonder if it's got ears. It's it's not gone away. It's 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 it's, it's quite incredible, but it's it's all like this and it's way you know like those that you see in the sea, like anemones. But it's tiny and tiny and tiny and fluff. It's hiding now behind my... No, it's moving back. It's near my glasses now. I better get on with this. It's, it, it's, it's moving. It's flying. It's flown down to the glass cleaner and it's hiding now. <laughs> Maybe it has got ears. As long as it doesn't fly onto me or I, I might scream because normally I'm, I'm terrified of spiders, but... That creature was maybe it's a, a secret little angel or something pretending to be some flying little uh, spider like creature. How weird it distracted me totally from from sharing with you, but now I'll get back to the what I'm supposed to be doing uh, I'm going to stop looking for it now, so I'm going to share with you the reading for the 3rd of August is taken from Hebrews 9 verse 8 by this the Holy Spirit reveals to us that as long as the first tabernacle remains standing the way into the sanctuary has not been disclosed the reflection. Our churches, while they are holy places, are also a foreshadowing of the glory that awaits us in heaven. The Spirit already gives us this foretaste of what is to come, but also encourages us to long for our true home in heaven. Let me encounter you in my parish church, Lord, but let that only be the beginning, is the prayer for today. Amen. So that is fascinating. I'm going to share with you. Um, Some of the prayers which are the Latin prayers. The sign of the cross, the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, and the Hail Holy Queen, if I have time, or I'll do just the first three and save the other two for another recording. 
the sign of the cross. In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord's Prayer, first in Latin and then in English. Pater noster, qui es in calis, sanctificatur nomen tuum, advent Niat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua sicut in caelo, et in tira, panem nostrum, quotidianum da nobis hodi, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nos nostris, et ne nos inducas, in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary in Latin Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventri tui, ajaiasus aius, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you the peace of Christ in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. I'm sure some of you know why I'm now doing the Latin, because I feel that the church is coming under attack and it is from within not without and uh, they want to eradicate latin which is part of the history of the catholic church from the beginning from the time of the apostles to now so you'll hear me doing more things in latin than i used to do because i think it's important that we remind the powers that be this is our faith whether we have been doing it uh, I only did it up to age 15. That was the last time I was learning and, and speaking Latin at school. However, I will begin again. And I encourage all of you to get books from Amazon or wherever and study the Latin yourself. Why not? Because if they, if they the powers that be, decide... Uh, we, we'll have to it's our protection basically the devil himself doesn't like anyone praying in Latin ask any exorcist they actually use Latin when they help heal someone who needs an exorcism trust me God bless thank you